Hi guys. Well, today I have something slightly more contemporary. Uh, although this unit was from 2005, it is obviously a little newer than my Onyx, Onyx 2, or the uh, SP2 in the other room. Uh, this is actually in service. I use this in my second office. See, my nice empty second office here. Uh, only because it is so bloody loud that if it was in my other office, I'd go insane. I'm currently using two of the blades in this unit for um, my uh, data processing server, uh, so I need the disk speed and a database blade to get it off of my current workstation. This is a Dell PowerEdge 1855. It has, as you can see, six blades out of the total ten. I have four missing at the moment. Uh, it was sent to me from my company, or the uh, parent company that owns my company who have stacks and stacks and stacks of Dell Blade servers. This is an older model, which they are replacing all of the 1855s and even the newer 1955s because they use too much electricity. Uh, the parent company is something like 600, uh, 600 blades. So that's a lot of power to be used for these things. And as you can see in the front, we have, obviously, six blades, disks, and a helpful on and off switch, which is kind of small and difficult to find. We have our mid-plane there with the blade connectors and you can see one of the fans. We go to the back of the unit. We have one, two switches, power supplies here. This is uh, the only one that I have plugged in as you can see to the distribution strip here. Uh, the other ones, although they're not generating power, they have fans. If they're not in, the system winds all the main fans up to maximum RPM, which is louder than all get out and really annoys the hell out of me. This one here is not actually a supply. This is a, just a fan module, a drop-in module. The main fans and all of the rest of these, as you can see, have nice little replaceable pull-out taps. Make servicing supposedly nice and easy. Same thing with the switches. module. Oops, that's good. Let's just break it. Nice and easy. We have over and over here the DRAC and the KVM. These two little wee modules here. And the DRAC is the Dell Remote Access Controller. This allows you to connect to it via IP. It has a web interface as well as a uh, SSH interface that allows you to control the unit. You can bring blades up and down as well as um, checking status of the fans, temperatures, RPMs, um, uh, check monitor logs, see who's been logging in, things like that. KVM is obvious what it is, uh, so you can um, plug a single KVM hook up here and then switch between all the blades. They have little buttons on the front which allow you to select which blade you're talking to on the KVM. You can also use the front plug and using this handy little dongle that I have here that goes to VGA and a pair of USBs, hook up your KVM in that manner. This is what I use. I'm not really sure why you have the one in the back. However, the DRAC can use the rear KVM so you can do remote consoles. Um, we'll get to the DRAC in a minute. Let's pop a blade out, I think. Little flitty wee doubles on the bottom of this. And now, easy. Two buttons here and here. Press the buttons, lift, slide off. Easy. So we can see we have two discs. They are in easy hot swappable replaceable bays here. Slide the bay out, back in. Uh, the RAID controller on this is a perk. It has the ability to do JBOD as well as RAID 0 and RAID 1, apparently. Um, they come either with single or dual processors. As you can see, this has got dual. Six memory slots. They're supposed to be capable of up to 64 gigs of RAM. Mine only have... Uh, the other ones have a max of three. This is a, just a single gig here. RAM has to be installed in pairs. Video controller. Ethernet. The usual SCSI controller, obviously or a RAID controller rather. The Ethernet, each one has dual NICs and the way it works is uh, it's as if it has a uh, internal switch 
that these plug into. And then the ports on the back that you saw, the two switches on either side, are an external switch. So it's not like it has one uh, Ethernet port on the back goes to one of the NICs in here. Um, it's just a switch. How about we fire it up?